Greetings everyone. In this video I'm helping you complete the Alex topic called solving a system of linear equations with decimal coefficients. So when we look at these two equations we see that they both have decimals. But that's okay because our first step is going to be to get rid of those decimals. In the top the 0.7x and the 0.6y those are both one decimal place so we can get rid of the decimals by multiplying this top equation both sides by 10. When I distribute that 10, the 10 times negative 0.7x moves the decimal place once to the right leaving me with negative 7x multiplying the 10 by the next term which is 0.6y, moves it one decimal place to the right, giving us a positive 6y. And then also the other side. Remember, everything gets multiplied by 10, so the 3 times 10 equals 30. So we've rewritten that equation, and now without any decimals. And then in the second equation, it's also 0.8x, 3.6y. Both of those have one decimal place, so I'll multiply that by 10 as well. Distributing 10 times 0.8x moves it one place to the right. That's a positive 8x. Multiplying the 10 by the 3.6y gives us a positive 36y and then multiplying the 10 times the 12 gives us a negative 120. So we've rewritten the problem now and we've eliminated those decimal coefficients so now we can solve this by either substitution or elimination and for this one I'm gonna go with elimination I look at these equations and I see the 6y and the 36y and I think well I can get those to cancel I can turn the 6 into a 36 by multiplying by 6 I just need to change the signs so that they'll cancel so I'm gonna multiply this top equation by negative 6. And when I do that, here are the first terms become 42x. Negative 6 times the 6y gives me the minus 36y. The negative 6 times the 30 on the other side gives me a negative 180. And then I'm just going to bring this second equation over to line it up below it. That's 8x plus 36y equals negative 120. And the reason I multiplied that top equation by negative 6 was so that now whenever I add these two equations those terms are going to cancel. I've got the negative 36y and the 36y cancel leaving me on the left hand side with 42x plus 8x is a 50x and the right hand side negative 180 plus a negative 120 gives me a negative 300. Now I can solve by x by dividing both sides by 50. On the left hand side the 50s cancel leaving me with just x and on the right hand side negative 300 divided by 50 is negative 6 we have half of the solution we have the x value and since we have the x value we can plug it back into any of the equations to find out what the y value is going to be but instead of plugging it into one of the original equations that have decimals in it I'm going to choose one of these secondary equations since they'll be a little bit easier to work with. And since the numbers are smaller in the top equation, I'm going to go with that. I'm just going to replace this x value with the x value that we just found. x is negative 6. And when I do that, I will have negative 7 times x, which we just said is negative 6 bringing down the rest of these terms 
plus 6y equals 30. We can now simplify. On the left, negative 7 times negative 6 is a positive 42. Bring down the 6y equals 30. And then to solve for y, we would first subtract the 42 over. So we're subtracting it from both sides. It cancels on the left, leaving just 6y equals 30 minus 42, negative 12. Lastly, we divide both sides by 6. 6 is cancel on the left, leaving me with just the y value. And then negative 12 divided by 6 equals negative 2. So we now have both parts of the solution, the x and the y.